So what I was going to say was, hey, welcome to the desert camp of Frederick and Emelina. Today we have been enjoying ourselves just reading books, but our mood was kind of ruined right at that moment. Uh, see if you see here. Cable broken and the entire guy is bent up. So the whole thing just wrapped up like that and like that. And the middle was holding and then all everything was came all the way over. This is Evelina in a bad mood. Yeah. As long as the car doesn't leak, I'm I think it's okay. It's this thing costs so much money. Yeah. And we have barely used it when we decide to use it, it's just one gas twin and then just Yeah. So that's a warning, it doesn't take very much for this guy to flip. Back to action. Yes. Ah. So we were sitting here, but now we're sitting here. Follow the shadow. Ow! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know what that was. Evelina is satisfied. I've taken epic desert photos of her. Yeah, so this place was super magical. We've just been enjoying the silence between the dunes and walking around. So I definitely recommend chilling in the desert if you go to Iran. Go to the desert, this was the best. Yeah. It's so calm and so magical. So now we're going to continue north, closer to Tehran and those mountains. Hello. It's Woo. gonna be cold and nice and fresh. Oh yeah, let's go. <laughs> Alongside the roads in Iran, we have seen a lot of these, but this was the perfect one. We just had to stop and shake it down. Come on! Oh, it's big. Whoa. Oh! <laughs> so basically, huh. old mud, mud houses. And it's, we have passed maybe 20 of these. Yeah. But this, and but and this was the biggest. It's not like an attraction, they're just standing empty. But they're super epic. Just waiting to be eroded away. Yeah. Super safe to be here, I guess. There's a lot of bees here. Be careful. Bees? A lot of bees. <laughs> it's literally a pile of sand. Yeah, this looks like bricks, but it's it's just not. Yeah, it's like sun-hardened clay, I think. Yeah. Something like that. Yeah. Cool. And there's just proper rocks on the tower. Yeah, the defensive towers in the corners. Sorry I pointed with my shoes. That's bad in some cultures, I think. So. <laughs> I have to be aware. Welcome oh. to my castle. Let's fix it. No, it's perfect. <laughs> <laughs> It's so many rooms. Yeah. I wonder what this was used for. Was it like? I know. A shopping. It's mall? like a tiny town. Super cool. Yeah, with a tower. And I wonder how old it is. Probably not as old as. No, it's probably not. You 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 look at it and you think like, oh, it's from 1600, but it's probably like 100 years old, maybe. No, like 20. No, I it's think. older than 20 years old. 
of course maybe one a peak from the 70s one rainfall and it looks like this perhaps so. yeah. well, huh? it's beautiful here yeah look at this one and another there's another yeah and there's a mountain it's proper mountains awesome all right okay driving continues yeah <laughs> Hello. What are you doing? Consult, sure. This is so cool. Yeah, but it's so sweet with summer bird. It's quite cool. It's good. It's good. It's good. It's good. Yeah, it's good. 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 What's up? <laughs> this place is weird. Yeah. So apparently a salt lake is full of flies. Full? It's disgusting. It's just getting more and more. I don't, I don't know. Okay. Damn. Here we have tried to kill a bunch. Pretty nasty. And look at this. <laughs> look at this. Look at this. <laughs> I'm sorry, people are gonna hate me for that. If you were here, you would understand. Yes. <laughs> so we just applied visa for Azerbaijan. So our plan now is to cruise north. Someone here. Do not cover it. Oh, I have to. I have to hide. Salam. Salam. As for Joe, my dear. Che? As for Joe. At Tehran. Wow. <laughs> so many. Yeah, it's uh, inescapable. So. We're just gonna go and enjoy this whole lake, take some pictures, and, and then leave. <laughs> Then we have to leave. Yeah. It's sad because it's so yeah. beautiful here. We could have chilled here if it wasn't but for all the But it's not chill at all. What up? Hold half is. Hold half is. Push half time. Okay, are you ready? Yes. Okay. We'll start here. Clean. Bed section clean. You wish. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Go. Oh no, it's broken. No! Come here, no, it's broke! Okay, it's pretty good, it's pretty good. Jump out, jump out, jump out! Oh. Oh. I forgot my phone. Seriously? I forgot the stative too. Oh. I forgot my clothes. <sighs> this is the main attraction. We tried to lure them away. It's the war of the flies. Yep. So we were just talking about how we like this place and then the fly started just rolling in. Crazy. It is an epic place though. It's pretty sick. I always wanted to go to a salt lake. Yeah, me too. The one in Turkey wasn't a salt lake, I guess maybe oh. you remember. But this one is for sure. It doesn't even have water. It's very soft. Okay. It's so soft. And if you stand on your toes, it'll go like slowly down. It's just, I think it's just flakes of salt, maybe? On top. On top, yeah. Do you want the salt, Patrick? Thank you. Just do like this and put it on your food.
call it the Dumme Dagen. The Doomsday Place. This is the Doomsday Place. First all the flies and then the sandstorm. It's like a sand, it's almost shows, it's like a salty sandstorm. You get like salty sand in your mouth. Oh, it's my hair. Oh, the light is beautiful! Uh -huh. Stop, I just need to take a picture. Go up on the roof! So the question is, how did you wake up, Evelina? Don't make me smile. <laughs> Sounded like someone was throwing dirt on our car. But apparently someone was smashing our window. Yeah, so we woke up by hearing the breaking of the window, which is not really loud at all, actually. It was just like dirt falling down. We ran to the front and here, and there was a guy still here so we ran up pretty quickly and, and talked to the guy who were actually broke who actually broke the window uh, but there was a lot of jibber jabber my father was not sufficient for the situation I tried to ask him just for just to give us some money at least and but um, he I think he, try, he tried to say that it wasn't him. Or he tried to say that he was just leaning on the window or something, I'm not sure. And in the end he ran and I was not gonna, or Evelina was not gonna hold him by force. So he left. So a guy broke a window, we had a little chat and he ran. Yeah. <laughs> But luckily, we are in Tehran, which is the best place in Iran to have this happen to you. Probably the most likely, I would say. Maybe Thanks the most for likely. Nice, too. welcoming. Yeah. Oh, but we really slept bad already because there was so much mosquito and it was warm, and we were both kind of awake. And then this happened, and now we're just in a really bad mood. It's it Oh, like. Oh. <laughs> Oh yeah, it's a, I don't know how much a window costs. At least uh, the labor in Iran is very, very cheap. And we'll see about the window. All right, so now we're waiting for the glass shop to open. I'm making an Iranian omelet. It's done, Evelina. Wakey, wakey. Evelina's dead. But it just opened, it seems, so let's see if we can fix that window. We're eating this omelet That's every dead. day. That's dead. Okay. Yeah. Much, much louder, much more crowded. Yeah. 
I don't know what's going on. It must be some yes. huge shoulder day, so. Interesting how that blue lake consists of this very, very brown water. So we have slept for a long time. The temperature is perfect. Oh, yeah. And we are in a good mood, cruising over the mountains. Ugh. Ugh. Towards the Caspian Sea. Modern version of a hijab. Yeah, it looks kind of cool. Feels more hip hop hijab. Hip hop hijab. Yeah. This is really beautiful. Suddenly it's so green. This side is greener than the other side. Maybe it's greener on the other side. Maybe because the other side is desert side and this is the Caspian Sea side. The amount of traffic is incredible. It's just constantly full of cars and it's full of these uh, shosks and restaurants. We thought it might be like ebbing off as we went over the mountain, but nope. It's gonna be less fun. It's just crowded all the way across. So this is definitely the place to be for locals in their holiday. And, uh, and I must say... You must say... Iranians have no respect for the lines on the road. The I traffic, am furious. Dude. I'm, I'm shaking racing so many cars because they are on my side of the road. So I'm just like, no, this is my side. I'm gonna shake race you. <sighs> yeah, that has to be said. I think Iranians are like the people we have both loved and hated the most because in traffic we just go want to kill somebody. But uh, when Otherwise, we meet people, they're just super the duper kind. Ever. Yeah, but it feels very, very good to be back. And the altitude makes the temperature very, very approachable. Wow, look at the light on this mountain. It's like Hawaii. There's the water. So as you have noticed, we are heading north and there are several reasons. First thing, I am the best man in my best friend's wedding in Norway. So we will go back to reach that in July. The end of June. In the end of He's June. He's a very good best man. Yes. Uh, but the main reason is because, well, I really wanted to go to Iran. We went to Iran. When we came there, I really wanted to study economics. We are going to the Arctic University of Norway in Tromsø, which is very, very at the top of Norway. So now our plan is to reach that until fall. So we'll be making our way north to Azerbaijan, to Russia, and somehow get a ferry across to Sweden, and then we are back in Scandinavia. So I guess a lot of you will be kind of disappointed because we were kind of advertising that we were heading to Southeast Asia. Uh, but the truth, the truth is, when you have traveled for a very long time, and Evelyn and I have you have traveled quite a lot before this trip too, it kind of gets empty, and uh, we're just craving to do something productive. I think it's true. Yeah, it's true. It's you kind of instead of just sleeping and eating and traveling and seeing and seeing and seeing. Yeah, the thing is, it's when you stay longer at one place, things actually grow, friendships grow, and that kind of stuff. And that's kind of what we crave right now. So now you know the truth. We have changed our plan completely. So, we are here. And the plan now will then be to go to the Caspian Sea, cruise along the coast, go to Baku, get a transit visa for Russia and go Zoom through Russia 
in either St. Petersburg or here in Estonia. We'll take the ferry to Stockholm, get across the Lysa Sheet. And then we will kind of hang here, we will cruise up here, hang here, and then we will take the road all the way up to Tromsø. And the university in Tromsø, also called the Arctic University of Norway, is actually the most northern university in the world. So that's pretty cool. It's right? Awesome. That's very, very cool, Frederick. But it's gonna be kind of intense because they have like three months where there's completely dark and no sun, and three months when there's completely light and sun all the time. We would love to live in the van and study, but Tromsø is like. 40 minus. <laughs> Super cold for a really long time. So we will have our apartment. We will have the van and we can go ski, do top Tours. tour skiing. What do you say in English? Top tour? When you walk to the top on your skis and slide down. Slide down. Yep. And we can't wait to show you our apartment if we get one. Because we got so inspired by this uh, floor people. Mm -hmm. So we bought a carpet and we bought some other things to go with it yep. so we can have a whole life on the floor. We're gonna have an Iranian corner in our apartment. <laughs> yeah, I'm very excited. All right, but now we're going to the Caspian Sea. Excited? It tastes like the sea, it smells like the sea, it looks like the sea, but it's a lake. And it's actually uh, a dead sea, like uh, there's no exits for the lake. It's like a, everything comes in, nothing goes out. And apparently it's uh, a third, about one third as salt as the ocean. So it, it, the air even, it feels like you're with the ocean. So, the and last 24 hours I've been sick. Frederick tasted the water yesterday. I think that's uh, usually like Evelina gets sick, but Always. this time I got sick. It's and the only time. thing I did which Evelina didn't do is I put a finger in the water and tasted it. I don't know if that's enough. Well, I pooped myself, so that was exciting. You're feeling better now, right? I'm feeling better. We watched four episodes of Game of Thrones, so I'm, I'm a lot better now. <laughs> That's all you need to do. Oosh. Between Azerbaijan and Iran, 